Hey guys, um, well, here's an impromptu video. I just got home, saw this <laughs> on my way home, was able to take a quick snap, but that's not the reason why I'm making this video. Uh, met a really, really great and interesting guy, uh, went on Craigslist and saw his listing and uh, saw this, and as you guys probably know, I already had a Nakamichi uh, TA3A um, receiver and it went wonky on me. The left channel was starting to go for some reason. Uh, it would play fine for about half an hour and then it starts to fade and I would have to adjust the balance just to get it centered again, which is no bueno. Not only that, but it completely disappears. The left channel completely disappears after half an hour on the funnel input side. So line in cassettes and all that stuff, it starts to fade, which you can adjust the balance to balance it back out, which is not ideal again. But with the funnel input, it just completely disappears. So I had to pick this up. <laughs> That's me uh, on my way home being a happy gal. This is my current audio stack, as you guys remember. That's my uh, Nakamichi MB3S CD player. It's the music station, or I'm sorry, the music bank, seven disc. Uh, if you load it up, it does uh, jam. <laughs> so that's not cool. If you get up to like maybe five or six disc, I think it's fine. But the seventh, that's when it gets, starts to have some trouble. You guys know my ZX7. You guys know my JVC. That's the TDV662, I believe. 662 or 661. Only difference between the numbers are color. It's a 661. I got the titanium color. 662 is the black one. And my mess of a deck. Yeah, I need to clean this, okay? Uh, but there's my RX202 and my <sighs> malfunctioning TA3A, which. Hopefully, once I get some money, I will get it repaired. But I saw the uh, on Craigslist and got this as a pair. Now, the gentleman who sold me this actually um, worked for Nakamichi and was very integral in helping with um, basically dialing in the calibration and biasing for uh, the cassette decks. And I think it's also an industry-wide thing, too. So one day I'm going to, might, um, if I have a chance, and if he's willing to, uh, do an interview with him, and then he can tell his, sto his side of the story. It was very interesting. I stayed there a lot longer than I expected to, uh, hence why I'm a little, I'm a little late to, by the way, I'm recording this on the 4th of July. <laughs> so I'm on my way to a friend's place, and I'm a little late. Uh, I'm also on call at work, so I'm uh, shout out to my to my uh, coworkers and my boss for being cool with the last minute pickup. Uh, asked them if they can cover me for about a couple hours. Uh, went a little long because of the conversation I had with the guy, but uh, yeah, look at that CDC three A with the famous. I don't remember the off the top of my head, but it's it's a very very sought after DAC that's in here. It's the uh, Philips something or other. Unfortunately, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, I can't even lick it on the screen because, you know, I, I shoot gorilla style. So you can put it on the, uh, what do you call, comments or when I get a chance, I will probably put it in the description once I dig that information up. Now, uh, it does, it's a multi-disc. It uses a Pioneer style um, six cd changer cartridge i believe but i didn't know that at, when i was there testing it so i feel sorry for this guy uh then i'm not bringing up his name just yet because i don't know if he's cool with me yet with uh bringing it up uh his name mentioning his name but uh if we ever do a collab um i'll definitely introduce you to him but um i feel so bad because i thought i broke it because what happened was it says it's a cd changer it even says so up there. So, and I didn't see any way of adding more discs. So I thought it was just like the uh, music bank. So I started adding 
multiple discs in there on top of each other and that got it stuck. Oh my gosh. But we were able to get that out, so yay. And the TA-4A, well, what can I say about this? It's, um, <laughs> it's an upgrade for sure from my 3A. Uh, more power and an additional uh, cassette input, you know, tape input. So me being a tape head, this is going to be a huge help. I actually wanted the 4A and I couldn't find it at the time. So when this came up, I had to snatch it. Uh, again, I know money is an issue for, uh, I told you guys money is an issue, but the thing is, it's like when this comes up, this opportunity comes up, you will just go ahead and pull the trigger. I'll deal with the con consequences later. I'm sorry. Sorry, future me. Um, and you know, Honestly, uh, you know, the money could have you being used to get the other one repaired, but I was so depressed I didn't want to, like, have to, like, send it out to someone. But when this came up, it's kind of like, grab it. Just grab it. <laughs> just just grab it. Uh, so I did. And um, the 3A will get repaired. Um, I have a... I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take the 3A. That could be my secondary stack eventually uh i have a second rx uh, 202 cassette deck that i can pair it up with uh as you can see i already have a nakamichi seven disc music bank the ms the mb3s that's going to be part of the secondary um secondary stack and so my primary is going to have the 4a the other 202 the zx7 and uh so yeah, this, basically I'm going to be replacing the uh, receiver and the CD player, and that's it. And I'm repurposing those items, especially if this one, the bottom receiver gets repaired, going to be my secondary system where I'm going to have uh, the music bank CD player, the 3A, and my other 202. I mean, what else more do you need? Maybe a turntable? I don't have a second turntable. Uh, I don't even have it in the picture. It's actually at the very top. But my top part is so messy because I got a lot of stuff kind of piled on. I don't want to like show it. But that's, if you guys probably seen my other videos, uh, it's my dad's old uh, Pioneer PL255 automatic uh, direct drive, fully automatic turntable. Sounds great, by the way. Um, I know it's not top of the line, but it doesn't have to be. Anyways, I'm going to stop it from he uh, stop here because uh, it's just a slideshow at this point. It really is just to show what I've got. And I'm hoping in the future video I get to show more of this because uh, I'm, I'm back-ish <laughs> for now. Um, I guess my passion for this kind of got came back a little bit when I saw this on Craigslist. I just had to. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the recording now. Bye.